Well, morning, howdy, tubers. Well, it's Sunday after church, and uh, I come and did a little bit of work on it last night, but I didn't do any video. But I, I did cut out this 40,000 stacking plate, but I I think I need to trim it off maybe another 332nd of an inch, a 16th or something, so it, it still feels like it's uh, sitting in that corner a little bit. So, but it's perfectly round. So, I think I'll do that, but what I wanted to show you is that I I got the tank cover on there all the way. But I don't know that I don't need to take it back off. I mean, um, well, I don't need to take it off for that. But, um, of course, I got to put nut plates in here for the cowling, which is... I know I brought it out right there. And it doesn't have holes in it. But also got to trim around the intake tubes on it. And of course I've got to also get the this nose bowl fitted before I can do this cowling. But anyway, making progress. Uh, but the main thing was that uh, before church, I came down and and reached in there, which you can't reach in from from back there, but I could reach in from here, and that silicone that I use is not exactly setting up so I figure that's gonna have to come back off and I'm gonna have to get some new stuff that'll hopefully set up and do it all over again but you y'all you seen the procedure and uh, there's the tank cover comes as a piece of rubber maybe six by four with a, a hole in there and I don't know if you can tell yeah you can see it sticking up there and you slip it down over before you put the tank cover on that comes from Hummel like that and of course I've you keep seeing it keep seeing that like that that's just because I haven't uh, let's see Turned it around, turned it around like that. Is that focusing? Are you focused? There we go. So, I just got it in there because that's the way it come. But of course, there's the bottom of the tank. So, I'll, I'll that's, that's the bottom of the tank, but it sticks up that much higher. So I'll probably bend it over maybe three eighths quarter inch or something from the from the bottom and bend it over and cut it off. So anyway, uh, I just sent a message to our text message to Hey Zeus to see if he was still going out to the airport. It's it's a little windy today too, but I don't think it's quite as bad as yesterday. So see if I hear from him he he said he was gonna go out after church but uh, but that was yesterday so uh, we'll see if he if he's going to or not so uh, I think that's where we'll leave this video off of course I still need to still need to get to the windshield bow and get the windshield in there and the and uh, I think they're 
right here. The windshield fairings are right there. But things are coming around and running out of winter time here. Oh, I also, uh, also got the fuel line on there. Because what it was, I came down here to... What was I going to do? Um, well, I came down to do something, and, and I think it was... I was drilling in the side of the side rails here so I could... Uh, well, you can, you can maybe see that tie wrap right there on the side rail that hold that wire up. Well, I did that front and back, and while I was doing that, of course, the tank kept moving around. So I thought, well, I better get the tank back on there. So I noted it's still lined up since I guess that stuff isn't going to set up. And I thought, well, then I better go ahead and before I close that up, I reach down through there to to put the the finger. I, Put the sealer on the the finger finger the finger strainer, and then the the shutoff valve. I put that all on there, and of course it's in the off position. And I thought, well, if I'm not if I'm going to put the tank cover on there for good, well then I might as well go ahead and put the fuel line on there before I put the tank cover on there. So I did all that, and and then now I'm thinking. If that stuff don't set up, that's going to just make that tank probably set hard on the side rails, and, and, and that would be the welds on the tank. So I imagine it's a good thing to just go ahead and pull it back out and clean that stuff up if I can and, and just redo it with some new stuff and go at it again. But at right now at this point I could go ahead and um, well work on that back plate and see if that stiffens that up any or the windshield bow but I'd really kind of like to get this the nose bowl on there so then I could do the canopy, I mean the, the cowling, and then that would just leave the the spinner left to do. But I'll, I mean, I'll have to have the spinner on there to get my alignment for the nose bowl. But anyway, this is getting to be a little bit longer what I, than what I kind of thought I was going to, going to tell you, but that's okay. So everybody have a blessed day, and God bless. There you go.